morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to an, yet another session hosted by Santa Clara County Library. Um, a big, big thank you to Adrian and the entire uh, library staff who are allowing us, providing us actually with the platform so we can all connect and uh, stretch out together uh, during this global pandemic. So I think it's a wonderful opportunity that we all have been provided with. Um, and I can't thank enough uh, uh, for everyone who uh, made this possible. That being said, uh, we'll start today's session in a seated position. Uh, sit, settle down on your mat in a comfortable cross leg position. And let's take a couple of moments to center ourselves. So place your hands on top of your knees with your palms facing up to the ceiling. And very gently close your eyes. Start to bring your awareness inwards. And try to notice the moment of your breath. Very slowly as you breathe in, feel the expansion of your abdominal muscles and perhaps the lift of your chest and your shoulders. And very slowly as you exhale, try to squeeze your abdominal muscles and drop your shoulders a little bit closer towards the ground. One more very conscious breath in becoming aware of the moments that are coming in the body. And a very cleansing breath out. Relax your sequence onto the mat. Relax your inner thighs and your knees. Try to sit up nice and tall, all the way from the base of the spine. Start to lengthen yourself without lifting your shoulders. Finding a nice upright position for your back. Relax all your facial muscles. Relax your jaw and your tongue inside your mouth. Relax your eyeballs and the space in between your eyebrows. For the next one hour, let's all try to stay connected with our body, mind, and breath. Very slowly take your time and start to open your eyes by first bringing the gaze towards the floor and slowly bringing yourself up to eye level. Let's take our hands all the way up, palms facing forward. We're going to lead with the chin. So keep the space between the chin and the collarbone and we'll come into a simple forward bend. Only your fingertips are going to rest to the ground. So do not place the heel of your palm. Just reach with your hands and rest your fingertips down to the ground. Look forward towards your fingers. Try to press your sit bones a little bit more onto the ground. 
connect with your lower back. And very slowly, let's walk our right hand a little bit forward and walk your left hand a little bit forward. I don't want you to go very deep. Just go slightly so that you start to feel a stretch in your lower back. And now we're going to open up our shoulders while the lower back is still working, just the way it is right now. Let's take the right hand all the way up. Open it up. Open your shoulder. Now the hand doesn't stop here, which means to say your wrist, elbow and shoulders are not in one straight line, but you try to take your hand a little bit behind you like that. So look over your right shoulder, giving a little bit greater range to that shoulder. And very slowly as you exhale, just place your right hand next to your left. So don't reach forward or anything, just stay where you are in terms of the height of both your hands. Let's do it the other side. Very slowly as you inhale, lift your left hand, look towards your fingers, take that arm a little bit behind you, look over your left shoulder. You are still leaning slightly forward. And now slowly as you exhale, Let's bring ourselves back onto our fingertips. Notice how your lower back is doing now. Let's repeat this on the right side. Slowly as you inhale, take your right hand up, your palm is facing up, and you're taking your arm all the way to the back. Maybe you can go slightly deeper this time, so further down towards the right side. Relax and breathe and slowly sweep that hand all the way forward and fingertips down to the ground, right next to your left. And let's switch, let's take it towards the other side. Left hand goes all the way to the back and maybe it drops a little bit more and you're trying to look over your left shoulder. And slowly sweep that hand all the way forward and both hands are the same height, you're still on your fingertips. Now gently rest your palms down, bend your elbows a little bit, and then gently start to bring your forehead towards the ground. Surrendering to Mother Earth. and breathe. Very slowly lift your head up, start to lock your elbows, come back onto your fingertips so both the heel of your palm is off without jerking the lower back. Take your time to slowly walk your hands back at your own pace and bring yourself up into a seated position. Open up your hands into T-arm position, palms facing down towards the ground. Simple basic spinal twist, we will change it a little bit later on. Let's take our left hand and rest the palm on top of the right. Take your right hand all the way to the back. Look over your right shoulder. Again, try to sit up really nice and tall. Walk the hand which is behind you, which is your right hand, a little bit closer towards your hips. This will help you to sit up nice and tall. Keep your hands just the way they are. Don't change anything with your hands. Look forward, turn your gaze forward. We're going to take our top hand, which is our left hand, and place it down to the ground, right? So the left hand, which is resting on top of your right knee, Slowly take it and bring it down towards the ground like this. The hand which is behind your back, which is your right hand, take it all the way over your head diagonally and reach towards the left side. And breathe. Try to rotate your right arm, look from under the arm towards the ceiling to open up your shoulder a little bit more. Put the belly button towards you, take your right hand all the way up, lift your left hand as well, release both your hands, let's circle 
those shoulders off a little bit and reverse the direction of the rotation of your shoulders. Let's do it on the other side. Palms facing down, spinal tw twist towards the left side. Let's take the right hand, rest your palm onto the left knee. Take your left hand behind you and then look over your left shoulder. Sitting up tall, walking that left hand a little bit closer towards your hips. Keeping your belly soft. And breathe. Keeping your hands just the way they are, look forward, turn your gaze forward. The right hand, we're going to gently bring it, shift it down towards the ground. So place your hand down like that. You can deepen the stretch as you go further, right? So you're going to take your back hand, your left hand, and as you take your left hand up, I want you to rest your right elbow completely down like that. And then reach your left hand all the way over towards the right side. Sometimes when we are doing this, we start kind of lift, start to lift our hips off. Make sure you don't lift your hips off. If you're still comfortable and okay here, then try to look from under the arm towards the ceiling on the left side and work on opening that shoulder a little bit more. Inhale, left hand goes all the way up. Right hand also follows, open up both your hands. Gently rotate your shoulders, get into the flow. And circle those shoulders off. And reverse the direction of the rotation of your shoulders. And let it go. Let's cross our arms. Take your right hand, place it on top of your left. Take your left hand and place it on top of your right. So we are intersecting at our elbows. Right? So we're going to round our back. Soften your, uh, bend your elbows. Bring your chin now into your collarbone. So you're deliberately kind of creating a roundness in your spine. So the more you bend your elbows and then you start to slowly tuck your chin into the collarbone, try to observe how you're feeling in your upper back. Maybe your shoulder blades are being stretched away from each other and you're creating an opening in your upper back. And breathe. Slowly lift your head up. We're going to uh, keep the hands stuck but we're going to lift it off the knees. So your hands are still stacked up just the way they are. Continue to lift your arms. You're going to take your hands all the way to the back and you're going to place your fingertips behind you and you're going to lean back and open up your chest. Arch up your back, lifting your chin up towards the ceiling. Bring your chin parallel to the ground, rotate your right arm, bring it forward, rotate your left arm and bring it forward and release. If you remember, we had our right hand on the top, we had the left pillow, right? So we're going to switch. Take your right hand below and left on the top. Bend your elbows, tuck your chin into the collarbone, let's try to round the back. Stay. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Fingertips pointing towards your body. Lean back a little bit, but th uh, think of lifting your rib cage up to the ceiling. So you're expanding and growing with your chin up, your chest open. Both the rib cage is trying to lift up towards the ceiling. Your jaw is relaxed and start to deepen your breath. Bring your gaze forward, bring your chin parallel to the ground, release your right hand, 
and raise your left hand and bring yourself back. That was a little bit of back, upper back, especially the shoulders. And right? from the beginning, we have been doing a lot of work around the shoulders. Let's engage our legs now. So we're going to come into a very simple, basic cat and cow position. I'll face forward initially, and then I'll go slightly diagonally. So those of us who are new to this class, uh, the way you're going to set yourself up is your wrist is going to be in line with your shoulders. Your knee is going to be in line with your hips. You're going to have space between your thighs. Stay where you are. I just change my position. Throughout the class, I will be the one who will be adjusting to the camera. So you don't have to change your position. Observe my toes. So when I say tap my toes, I would, I would mean this. And when I say uncurl your toes, unpress your toenails, I would mean to say this. Right? So let's all relax our toes now to the ground. Toenails to the ground. Let's start with a very simple basic cat and cow. Inhale, belly button to the ground. Look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round your back. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round your back. Let's come into a neutral position. So the neck is in line with your spine. Gently tap your toes now. Let's lift opposite hand and opposite leg off the ground. So we're going to start by lifting our left hand off the ground and our right leg off the ground. When you lift your leg off the ground, there could be two positions with your toes. Point would be this way and flex would be turning the toes towards the shape, right? So right now we are keeping our feet in our flexed feet position and we're going to pulse with our right heel towards the ceiling right so keeping your left hand just the way it is let's work on lifting that right heel up five times up practice two times ready five four three two one drop only your left hand down, down to the ground you're going to change the way the leg is going to move it's going to move towards the right side now. So you stay where you are and just point forward now. Take your right leg towards the right side, out like that. And let's pulse. Practice, two, three, ready, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the center, stay where you are. So right now your ankle and your knee are in one straight line. You're going to pulse towards your left side now. Flex feet of the uh, position and take it towards the other side. Practice a couple of times, and let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the center. Breathe. Bring your uh, right knee into your chest. Sorry about that, we had that hand lifted. And gently place your left hand down, drop your right leg down, and wag the tail. Just shake the glutes off from side to side. And come back to the center. Let's tuck the toes. Again, uh, try to keep your hand off. I was changing my position, so by mistake, I think I put one hand down, but make sure you don't change because you're not moving. Keep your hand just the way it is, and you're going to move your leg in three different directions. Ready? Let's start. Right hand goes off the ground. Left leg goes off the ground. Flex your feet. Squeeze your abdominal muscles. So we're going to take it straight up this time, the first one. So practice this one a couple of times. See how that feels. And let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the center, stay. Left leg goes towards the left side. So practice it a couple of times to get the motion. And let's do this. Five, four, Three, two, one. Come back to the center. Let's take the left leg towards the right side. Practice it a couple of times. At five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the center. Let's take the right elbow and the left knee touches towards each other. Drop your left knee down. Drop your right leg down, relax all toes to the ground and gently back the tail. 
moving your hips, relaxing your lower back, and coming back to the center. Let's open up the calf muscles also. So tuck your toes, simply extend your left leg, catch the ball of the feet on the ground, and press that heel all the way to the back. Just to deepen the stretch a little bit, let's take that right hand up also. Release the right hand off. So somebody is pulling your wrist forward with your right hand and somebody is pulling your heel back with your left leg. A diagonal stretch in the body. Let's place that right hand down. Bring that left leg back in position. Keep your toes tucked. Let's do the other side. Extend your right leg, catch the ball of the feet on the ground. Press that heel all the way to the back. And now let's lift the left hand off the ground. Now try to pull your body, creating an opposite pull, right? So your left hand is reaching forward and your right heel is pressing back. And left hand comes down to the ground. Right leg comes back and relax all toes and back your okay. head. So make this like a playful, like a child-like uh, thing. So just very loosely moving your heads, no control or holding back to your lower back muscles anymore. And come back to the center. Let's tuck our toes. And we're going to step our left leg forward. Gently bring your left leg forward and bring yourself all the way up. We are going to do this position four times. Two times we're going to do it with our knee down. Those of us who feel it is a challenge to balance ourselves, we are going to continue to do the remaining two rounds also with our knee down. But those of us who have been doing for a long time and need a little bit more challenge, we are going to work on lifting our knee off the ground. So that involves a little bit of balance. Let's bring our hands into cactus arm position. So the elbow, the, your wrist and your elbow and your elbow and your shoulder create an L shape with both hands. Your fingers are nicely spread, so there's no cupping of your hands, you're separating it out. Think that you have something that you're tilting it up towards your ceiling. That visualization helps you a little bit better to feel the stretch. You can walk, those of you who want to challenge a little bit more, you can walk your left leg a little bit forward. It will help you to arch your back a little bit more. Ready? Now, do not think about hands right now. Start your stretch from your lower back. In your mind, think I want to push my hips forward and I want to arch my back. The head and the arms will follow naturally because the body is going to arch, right? So let's all start with our hips. Slowly start to push your hips forward. I'll just release. You should start to slowly feel it around your, on top of your right thigh the minute you start to push your hips forward. And then do it a little bit more. Don't worry about your arms at all. And then push your hips a little bit more. Still okay here. Now let's try to take our gaze up towards the ceiling. And maybe we're going to lift our palms up towards the ceiling. And maybe we're going to lift our elbows to come parallel to our ceiling. So there's a great chest expansion. Once again, try to observe your rib cage. Notice the stretch and the lift of the muscles that are surrounding your core muscles right now. And breathe. Squeeze your abdominal muscles, take your time, bring yourself back to cactus arm position. Let's do this one more time. Very slowly as you inhale, Let's work on pushing our hips. Don't think of anything else, just hips for now. And a little bit more. And a tiny bit more. Ready? Now slowly let's try to take. Start with your forehead. And then your chin. Then feel the opening that is coming on in the front of your neck. And then maybe your palms are coming parallel to the ceiling. And now maybe your elbows are coming parallel to the ceiling. Look at the deep arch that is going on in your lower back. Breathe. Squeeze your abdominal muscles. Bring your hands back to cactus arm position. 
You can repeat exactly what we did. Those of us who want to lift the back knee off the ground, you can place your hands on either side of your left leg. Very slowly work on lifting your right knee off the ground. Totally optional. And if you want to slowly lift your hands, bring yourself into character sound. Same thing is going to be done with your back knee off the ground, which becomes slightly more challenging. Ready? You have an option to drop your knee down if it is not for you. Let's think about hips. Start to push your hips forward. Now press your back heel to the back. So I don't want you to do this, right? I want you to press your back heel to the back, but your front knee is the one that's bent and push your hips forward and push your hips forward. Take your forehead up, your chin up, your palms parallel, maybe your elbows get lifted up and exhale, bring it back. Yes, your left thigh is on fire right now. Breathe, smile. Let's do this one more time. Very slowly as you inhale, hips and hips and hips. Right heel pressing back, no bend in your back leg, forehead, chin, palms and elbows. Breathe. Bring yourself back. Place your hands on either side of that leg. Let's release that right knee down to the ground. Stay where you are. I'm going to turn my body. We're going to pull this leg all the way to the back. So all you're going to do is you're going to take this left leg all the way to the back like that. Circle, circle, circle the ankle. Reverse the direction of the rotation of your ankle. Drop your left leg down. Try to compare your left thigh to your right. You will see a big difference. And move your hips from side to side. Come back to the center and simply step your right leg forward and bring yourself all the way up. Those of us who want to go a little bit deeper with the position, you can walk your right leg a little bit forward like that. Otherwise, you're fine to be here as well. Optional, right? Let's start with our hands in cactus arm position. And breathe. Ready? Let's move the hips forward. And one more. So nothing changing with your upper body as of now. And one last time. Ready? Let's start. Forehead up. Chin. Palms. And your elbows. Arch up your back really well. Let's observe what's happening in the body. We have a chest expansion. We have a half back bend. We are feeling it on the quads of our left leg. Breathe. Pull the belly button towards you. Back to normal cactus arm, chin parallel to the ground. Repeat. Push your hips forward and forward. And one more. And let's take the forehead up, chin, palms, and elbows. The back of your head is resting in between your shoulder blades by now. And breathe. And back to normal cactus arm. Ah. Repeat by keeping your knee down or you have an option to lift your back knee off the ground, pull the belly button towards you and bring yourself into cactus arm position. Stabilize yourself, take your time. Let's start to move our hips forward. Remember this time the back heel is going to go all the way to the back. So it's going to press back instead of bending the knee down like that. Yes, hip, hip forward. One more, and let's take it all the way up. And bring it back. Last time, let's take it all the way up. Go sequentially, you know the sequence now. 
Remember to breathe. And come back. Place your hands on either side of the front leg. Let's drop that left knee down. So this leg is just going to get pulled to the back. Just pull that leg to the back and circle, circle, circle the ankle. Reverse the direction of the rotation of your ankle. Drop your right leg down and very loosely back your tail. Let's come into a downward dog. Tuck your toes and bring yourself into a downward dog and start to pedal your legs off. Very slowly walk your hands back towards your body. So you will end up in a simple forward bend position. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, half it up. Exhale, full forward bend. One more. Inhale, half it up. And exhale, full forward bend. Bend your knees, press your belly into your thighs. Fly your hands to the side. Your palms are facing up to the ceiling. Squeeze your abdominal muscles. Bring your hands back to cactus arm position. Wrist is in line with your elbows, your elbows are in line with your shoulders, your fingers are nicely separated. Stay where you are, I'm going to step a little forward. Now you're going to change the way you're moving your arms. Okay? Keeping your hands in cactus arm position, take your left hand forward and right goes to the back. And come back to the center. Let's take the right hand forward, left hand goes back. Come back to the center. One more, left comes forward, right goes back. Come back to the center and switch. And come back to the center and release. Rotate your shoulders off a little bit and reverse the direction of the rotation of your shoulders and widen your stance. So uh, try to keep your feet as wide as your mat. Your toes are pointing forward, so we're not in a plie position. Bring your hands into cactus arm position. Today it's all about cactus arms. <laughs> okay, pull the belly button towards you. Let's try to come. So make sure your plant doesn't fall down. It's straight up and it's coming down, right? Slowly squeeze your abdominal muscles and try to come into a wide leg squat. Press your feet. Let's take that right hand and open up the right side of the body. So you're going to really stretch it out. Back to cactus arm position. Wrist, elbow, L shape. Pull the belly button towards you. Try to squat. Press on your feet. Left hand goes towards the right side. Let's stretch out the left side of the body. Come back to the center. Cactus arm position. Pull the belly button towards you. Come into a squat and breathe. Take your hands all the way through your legs. So you are wrapping your arms around your ankles. Try to peel your chest up. I want you to create an upward flow of energy. And breathe. And slowly release your hands back to cactus arm position. Pull the belly button towards you, lift your hands all the way up. Right hand goes towards the left side, deepen the stretch, bump up your hip a little bit more. Come back to the center, cactus arm position. Push your hips back, come into a squat, lift your chin up, wrap your arms around your ankle, lift your chin up, your chest up, sit down a little bit more. And breathe. Release your arms, cactus arm position, press your feet, take your hands all the way up, left arm goes towards the right side, push your left hip a little bit away from the midline and come back to the center, release your hands, rotate your shoulders and reverse the direction of the rotation of your shoulders and let it go. Shake your legs off a little bit and shake your hands off a little bit. 
Let's do one round of sun salutation under a very basic one. So let's step to the top of the mat. Bring your hands to the heart center. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Back bend. Exhale, bring yourself into a forward bend position. Let's step the right leg all the way to the back. Remember earlier on we had come into this position and then we stood up into cactus arm. Let's try to push those hips and take the gaze all the way up. Step your left leg all the way to the back into a plank position, upper body parallel to the ground. Let's all drop our knees down. Relax your toes, let the toe nails touch the ground. Bend your elbows towards your body. So don't let them go out like this. I want you to turn your elbows into your body. And without touching your belly to the ground, you're going to work on bringing your chin down to the center in between your arms. Slowly start to hollow your belly and bend your elbows, chin to the ground. Inhale, make your way up into a full cobra position. Anchor your toes. Lift your hips up into a downward dog position and start to pedal your legs off. Step your right leg forward. Take your time, no rush whatsoever. Step your left leg forward into a forward bend position. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Let's give a little bit deeper back bend to the body. Take your hands all the way up and circle your hands all the way back. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Let's give a nice deep back bend to the body. Exhale, fly your hands to the side. Let's come into a forward bend position. Let's step the left leg all the way to the back. Take your time. Press your back heel. So all that we learned applies here. Press your back heel to the back. Your back knee is not dipping down. You're pushing your hips forward and you're taking your gaze all the way up to the ceiling. Very slowly step your right leg to the back. Bring yourself into a plank position. Upper body parallel to the ground. Hold if you can, otherwise rest your knees down. Let's all rest our knees down. Relax your toes, let the toenails touch the ground. Elbows soften and bend towards your body. And hollow your belly, bringing your chin down to the ground. Inhale, bring yourself up into a full cobra position. Anchor your toes, tuck your toes into a downward dog position and start to pedal your legs off. Step your left leg forward, take your time, no rush whatsoever. Push your hips forward, let's take the gaze all the way up. Right leg joins the left leg into a forward bend position. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Let's give a nice deep back bend to the body. Fingertips up to the ceiling, circle your hands and release. We're going to come down to the ground and we'll stretch our quads a little bit more. So extend your legs all the way out and just shake your legs off. Take your time to settle down on the mat. Keep your right leg extended just the way it is. Bend your left leg. Dig your heels, flex your feet, transfer your hands onto the shin, on top of your leg, onto your left leg. And then slowly work on lifting your left leg off the ground. Now, once you lift your leg off, I want you to turn all your toes towards your shin. So we are in a flex position of our feet. And now slowly work on lifting your right leg off the ground, if you can, if you can balance. Breathe. Lift your right leg up and down, hover it off the ground. And up and down. It's a controlled movement. Rest of the body is stable. It's only the right hip joint that is articulating. Up and down. You're breathing while you're doing this. And up 
and down. Bring it to the center. So your ankle, your knee, and your hip are in one straight line. Make it a dynamic switch. Bring your right in, take your left out. Stabilize. Ready? Very stably without rocking the rest of the body. Left leg goes up, flexed feet, both legs, and down. And up, and down. Two more up, and down. And one last one, and down, and come back to the center. Stay. Release, extend both legs into tabletop position. Bring your hands next to your body. Those of you who cannot do this because it's very challenging, you can take your hands to the fold of your legs. Or you can rest your hands down, or you can bring your elbows down like that, right? You have multiple options. See what works for you today. So I would say option one would be keep your elbows like this. Option two would be maybe take only the support of your fingertips. Option three would be take your hands to the fold of your legs, lift those legs up. Option four would be extend your legs, release your hands off in a simple boat position. And breathe. Separate your legs out. Right, up. Sorry, excuse me, left and right. Left and right. Left and right. Last time, left and right. Bend your legs into tabletop position. Hold, breathe and release. Extend your legs, flex your feet. Take your hands all the way over. Let's come into a simple forward bend. Take your hands all the way up. Separate your hands, bring your hands next to your body. So sometimes when we do the bow position, some of us have difficulty to hold our ankles. So today I will try to uh, come up with an easy version. So what we are going to do is we're going to lie down on the side like this. So bring your uh, right hand and your elbow and your shoulder in like an L shape, just like how you did in practice arm, except your palm is resting down to the ground. Your knees are bent like this. So the bottom knee is going to be bent. You're going to lift your top leg up. Now this would be fairly easy for many of us. So we will do this and then we'll do the other one as well. So that we can compare and see how we feel with our body, right? So hold on to your left ankle with your left hand. So this kind of is fairly easy for most of us. And then work on pulling. So our goal here is to stretch the muscles of the left quadricep, right? So the top of the left thigh. So pull that heel towards the body. and press that leg down and just bring yourself, switch your position. Let's do it the other side. So left hand comes down, left elbow rests, bend your knees, adjust your hips, and then the top leg always, right? So this time the right leg is on the top. Hold on to your right ankle and let's work on pulling that heel towards the body. So this is a nice stretch on top of the right thigh. and release, let it go, okay? Now, if you feel this is easy, because for some of us, I know this is easy, you can repeat that. Those of us who want to take it the other way, lie down on your belly. So completely come down onto the ground and lie down on your belly and extend your hands. Actually, let's do one thing. Keep your hands in cactus arm position. So your arms are in L shape next to your body. Very slowly lift your chin off the ground, your chest off the ground, and come into a full cobra in a wide arm position like this. So you have your hands beyond the frame of the width of your mat right now. And then slowly bend your elbows, rest yourself back in cactus arm position, down to the ground.
Bring your hands next to your chest and rest your right hand in front of you like this. So I want you to turn your right hand into an L-shaped position like this. And now bend your left leg. This is again another option for some of us who find it difficult to hold our ankle, right? I'm trying to give breakdown so everybody can participate. Take your, uh, hold on to your left with your left hand, left ankle and pull towards your body. And release. Option three, we'll repeat with the same leg, left leg. Extend your hands all the way up. Bring your chin down to the ground. Bend your left leg at the knee. Bring your heel towards your glutes. Hold on to your left ankle with your left hand. Bring your chin down to the ground. Inhale, lift your chin off the ground. Lift your right hand off the ground and lift your left knee off the ground. So this might be somewhat difficult. I have noticed that some people have difficulty to hold the ankle. Then you have the other option to do. And release. Extend both your hands and your legs. Take a break. Bring your hands next to your chest. Rest your left elbow in like an L shape. So we're going to do two times the same exercise in different arm position. Rest your um, left hand in front of you. Bend your right leg and hold on to your right with your right. This is easier for some of us. We take the support of our left hand, press into that hand and pull that heel towards the body. If this works for you, repeat the same thing again. And release. Extend everything out. Pick the level that works for you. Bend your right leg at the knee. Hold on to your right ankle with your right hand. Bring your chin down to the ground. Inhale, chin off the ground, chest off the ground. Left hand goes off the ground. Right knee goes off the ground. Breathe and release everything out. Let's all extend our hands and legs. Take a break. Start to deepen your breath. Bring your hands next to your chest. Elbows are hugging the body. Press on your palms. Take your time slowly. Let's make our way into a full cobra position. And now gently push your hips back and stay here for an extra breath. I want you to create a roundness in your spine and release that lower back. Slowly walk your hands back towards your body. Take your legs to one side and we're going to lie down on the mat. So bring yourself onto your back and bring your knees into your chest, all the way into your chest like that. Place your hands on top of your kneecaps and slowly massage the lower back. Drawing circles with your knees Touching the four corners around the lower back. And reverse the direction of the rotation. Drop your left leg down to the ground. Take your right leg all the way up to the ceiling. Flex your feet. I'll add an arm position, which might be slightly challenging for some of us. So we can break it down again. Very slowly as you inhale, lift your head off the ground and start to walk your right leg a little bit closer to the body like that. Keep your feet flexed. Turn your toes towards your shin. Still okay here. Extend your left leg off the ground. Flex 
both feet. Still okay here, take both your hands over your head. Hold this position and breathe. You may be feeling a shake in your core right now. You are super stable. And breathe. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stay. Take your hands to the back of your right leg. Bend your left leg back. So you are reversing the process. Pull that right leg towards your body. And rest your head down. Rest your right leg down to the ground. Separate your legs out a little bit, windshield wipers, move like the wiper blade of your calves, massage that lower back. Bring your legs hip width apart, so keep it in bridge position. Take your left leg all the way up to the ceiling, flex your feet. Lift your head off the ground, take your hands to the back of your left leg, slowly walk your left leg closer to the body. Turn your toes, point it towards your chin. You can stay here, option one. Option two, lift your le right leg off the ground, flex all feet. You should be super stable. And breathe. Option three, lift your hands over your head, palms facing up to the ceiling. Remember to breathe. Lift those legs slightly higher. Four, three, two, and one. Stay. Take your hands to the back of your left leg. Straighten that leg out. Bend your right leg. Rest it down to the ground. Bring your upper body down. Rest your left leg down. And whack the tail. Move your legs, wipe your blades actually, and move it from side to side. Bring your hands into cactus arm position. So now you have your palms facing up to the ceiling. Your hands are in L shape. Walk your heels towards your body. We are going into bridge position with cactus arms. Slowly as you inhale, release your lower back off. Your mid back and lift your belly button all the way up. And let's take time slowly. Start to rest your shoulder blades down to the ground. Your mid back, your lower back and your tailbone. Bring your knees into your chest and let's move the knees from side to side. Massage the lower back to the width of your mat. Extend your legs, reach your hands over your head. Let's give one full body stretch. Fingertips and toes being stretched in the opposite direction. Flex your feet once, so press your heels away from you, turn your toes towards your shin while your hands are still over your head. And release. Separate your hands out, separate your legs out and find a nice final resting position. Starting to shut down and surrendering to ground, to Mother Earth.
keeping your eyes closed trying to keep your arms and legs spread out a little bit apart from the midline allow your fingers to curl up naturally and let the toes flop down the natural way they like to starting to bring your awareness inwards and once again becoming aware of the movement of your breath relax your entire face soften your jaw and your tongue inside your mouth slowly bend both your knees and turn your body to the right side and whenever you are ready take the support of your hands and make your way up into a seated position with your eyes closed bringing your hands to the heart center with the thumb touching the heart center if you wish to make a small prayer for your loved ones in the world around you you can do that at this time whenever you are ready very slowly start to open your eyes by first bringing the gaze towards the floor and slowly coming up to eye level thank you very much for joining the class this morning let's all take a bow together and say namaste thank you very much guys for joining the class i'll see you next tuesday